Instead of an entourage, Sean Diddy Combs got a police escort to jail Monday. Pop music mogul Sean Diddy Combs spent tonight in handcuffs. In the ongoing saga of the Tupac unsolved case, the pot thickens with each passing day. And if you think it's been suspiciously silent in the last few months, get ready for the latest bombshell that involves none other than Diddy as the case hits its 25-year mark the rumors and speculation. Seem to be swirling in a storm of controversy. The recent development started with the arrest of Keith D., who in a shocking turn of events plead no guilty and may be freed. Soon enough now it appears that Diddy Fine. Diaz himself uncomfortably perched in the hot seat, potentially painted as the mastermind behind all. Brace yourselves because by the end of this video you'll find out what the police has on Diddy. And trust me, you won't want to miss this. That's right, Diddy was brought here about two hours ago. His bail was set at $160,000. Well, if you thought the case is being stalled again, here's the recent juice. You all know how Tupac's brother Moore Secure dropped a bombshell revelation about a conversation he had with Diddy, according to Meyer Diddy, personally reached out to him to vehemently deny any involvement in Tupac 1. 1996 shooting Puffy called me back in the day he was like I just want you to know I have nothing to do with your brothers to know who you are but we never met and I just want to call you man to man and let you call. Now that I ain't have nothing to do with your brother's shooting while appreciative of the call Mopar couldn't shake off the suspicion that Diddy might be playing a strategic move to cover his track skeptical of Diddy's professed innocence Mulfer felt that the mogul was merely trying to secure favor just in case things took a turn for the worse and legal troubles came knocking that sounds like a guy that's guilty man him calling you trying to plead his innocence this revelation came amid the air est and charging of casd davis reigniting public interest in the law standing case moper adamant about seeking the truth surrounding his brother's demise took the opportunity to engage with diddy directly in the eyes of tupac's brother it seems diddy's reassurances were met with a healthy Dose of skepticism as Ember continued to dig for answers and uncover the mysteries surrounding Tupac's demise now with the emergence of names and dots, starting to connect the narrative around the tragic shoot. In Las Vegas takes a dramatic and unforeseen turn with Diddy being in the midst of legal trouble. Yeah, that sounds like a guy that's guilty, man. Him calling you trying to plead his innocence. In the ever-twisted saga surrounding Tupac's case 50 Cent, has thrown a grenade into the mix pointing fingers directly at Pi known for their long-standing animosity 50 Cent took to Instagram to make a shocking claim that Diddy orchestrated to cock shooting to make a shocking claim that Diddy orchestrated tax shooting in a bold post 50 Cent advised Diddy to gather his best lawyers if he values he freedom damn so pot got lined by brother love L time to lawyer up stuff might get sticky the Instagram Post accompanied by a photo of Tupac and Shite in the black BMW sedan on the night of the fatal drive-by shooting in 1996 left followers stunned, while the motive behind 50 Cent's accusation remains unclear speculation has swirled for years about Diddy's potential. Involvement in Tupac Toys Times it just dropped an article in the newspaper implicating him as well. This bombshell from 50 Cent followed former bad boy artist Ma's cryptic reference to Diddy's rumored role in Tupac's shooting during a sports talk show. Mace Figging Ignorance sarcastically stated, When I heard that name, I was like I heard the name before it didn't really click like that before. Shifting gears to express a desire for justice for Tupac, he hinted at Diddy's alleged attempt to harm Tupac in the past and cover his tracks Diddy no stranger to controversy had faced accusations in the past. In 1994, the Los Angeles Times reported that Diddy knew two associates, James Jimmy Henchman Roseman and Jimmy Satino, who planned to ambush Tack at a New York City music studio. The plot allegedly involved staging a robbery offering two Peak 7000 to record a track the late. Rappers survived the attack, but the incident loomed large in the narrative surrounding his still unsolved shooting in Las Vegas two years later, where Diddy is allegedly the main figure behind it. Who is really the guy behind it? Fear this guy, Diddy, as if he's untouchable. Apparently, the music mogul spent a lot of money and used all his connections to cover the traces of his involvement little. Did he know that almost three decades later people will still consider him guilty as one person commented everyone has been knowing for years that Diddy was involved and another user added Diddy's ego and entitlement will be his undoing in my opinion. 
Yes, I do believe he is guilty. He can no longer deflect on this issue or point fingers at others. He'll never survive prison, but... It's not like Diddy didn't try to deny all the claims calling them ridiculous and completely false. Despite his protest, the controversy surrounding Diddy's connection to Tupac shooting ads, another layer to the already convoluted tale. We don't, we don't talk about things that are nonsense the late. Rap legend himself openly blamed comms and his protege Notorious B.I.G., whose East Coast rap network feuded with his West Coast Posey for this 1,994 shooting in interviews and songs the Times report also said. Tess Biggie's track, Who Shot, Yeah, recorded after the attack that describes its circumstances and includes the lyric, You rewind this bad boys behind this and what appears to be a retaliatory move, Diddy himself, replied to all the swirling speculations about his desire to harm Tupac he unleashed hell on. The newspaper that dared to accuse him saying the story is a lie. It is beyond ridiculous and completely false. Neither Biggie nor I had any knowledge of any attack before, during, or after it happened yet. So alleged that journalists relied on unreliable informants and outdated FBI reports to craft a fabricated narrative, and in fact did he had nothing but love for Tupac. We got proof of that. We got papers and uh, a documented. However, the story didn't end here eight years after the claims made by the journalist. There was a film Netflix released based on a book with the premise that Diddy hired Hitman to shoot Tupac in 1996. The author of the book, a retired lap investigator, claims Diddy hired a crypt to eliminate Tupac for one million. The documentary features a taped police interview between retired late officer named Greg Kading and already a familiar figure in this case, P.D., during which the latter alleges P. Day, during which the latter alleges P. Diddy approached him on two separate occasions to discuss getting R.I. Tupac and another rap mogul and his rival Suge Knight. We already had that information. Keft was kind of corroborating what other people had said Key, who recently appeared in court in Las Vegas over talk case has repeatedly claimed that P. Diddy instructed him to target Tupac and the rivalry labels boss Suge Knight Diddy's representatives declined to comment on the allegations Diddy has consistently dismissed blames of involvement in Tupac toys as baseless adding more layers to the narrative former gangster James McDonald, formerly known as Mob James, revealed that rumors about Diddy and others putting a bounty on Suge and Tupac's head circulated during that tumultuous period McDonald, who once served as a security enforcer, Shug's label, disclosed that Puffy was ad meant to distant himself from trouble as it happened until Puffy knew he had to distant himself now. The most intriguing moment in all this is that Key D, who was charged with passes shooting in September, was not found guilty. So it seems like his arrest was staged to simply get the bigger fish in the pond of this tragic story. As Key D says in the tape, Diddy expressed his desire to get rid of Pac and Shugman. I want to get rid of. Those dudes, while these claims cannot lead to prosecution due to a legal agreement in place, they add fuel to the ever-growing fire surrounding Tupac's mysterious incident, and it looks like Diddy is catching that. Or fire than ever before now, it looks like the whole arrest of KPD was staged to expose a bigger criminal plus. We didn't want to expose the fact that Key is cooperating the whole discussion between Diddy and Kaden can be the key to in-car aiding Diddy last week. The U.S. Sun revealed how. Prosecutors decided to submit the tape as evidence despite the legal complexity of its admission. As one insider claimed it would be seen as powerful piece of evidence for a jury to hear now. As the pieces of this pos- Lee are coming together, the music mogul's life is going down quite a slippery slide. But whatever happens to Diddy next, the public doesn't feel sorry for this man as one person commented, at least for Diddy, if he ends up in jail, he won't have to travel very far if wants to have any more freak off and another user added he needs to be in jail for many things disgusting human being. It seems like one way or another the music mogul will soon end up behind the bars and who knows what other crimes of his are going to surface, but folks, what do you think about all this is Diddy guilty in eliminating the rap legend? And how close are the police to actually throwing him in jail? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos.